Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about families of right triangles. The lesson is fairly short, so we're also going to include some practice problems, uh, the different families of right triangles. All right, so what is a family of right triangles? So we talk about Pythagorean triples, and Pythagorean triples are any three whole numbers that satisfy the equation a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now there are really almost an infinite number of possibilities you can have and what we want to do is focus on a set of tri triples and I'm asking my class to remember about eight or nine of them uh, It's the first eight or nine sets of triples that you'll need to know in order to handle some of the problems in your book. So some examples of triples would be a 3, 4, 5 triangle, a 5, 12, 13 triangle, and a 7, 24, 25 triangle with the first two numbers being the legs of the right triangle and the last number being the hypotenuse, the length of the hypotenuse. So you can establish members of a triple family by multiplying or dividing each integer in the triple by a constant. So for example, I can have my big daddy triple 3, 4, 5, maybe a little baby triple 3, 4, 5, and then the siblings might be a 6, 8, 10, or a 9, 12, 15. So in the, the siblings case, each of the lengths, 3, 4, and 5, is multiplied by constant 2. Additionally, we could have another sibling, 1.5, uh, 2, and 2.5. And in that case, the uh, big daddy triple is multiplied by a constant of 1 half. So as long as the uh, triple is uh, multiplied by a constant, of either a number greater than one or a number less than one, and all values are multiplied by the same constant, and they come from the same triple family, which in this case is a three, four, five. And you're gonna to need to use that knowledge as you figure out uh, different lengths of triangles in the homework. All right, so another example would be three root five times four root five times five root five. So it doesn't have to be um, a whole number that you're multiplying uh, each of, as a constant, that you're meet, multiplying each of the members of the triple family by. So in this case, we're multiplying it by a constant of root 5. In the first case, we're multiplying it by a constant of 2. In the second case, we're multiplying it by a constant of 1 half. So again, members of a triple don't have to be uh, integers, but the base triple does have to be an integer um, as defined by the family. Okay, so here's a list of their eight uh, triples that I want my students to know. This is the list of the eight. So you should memorize these and be able to respond by identifying these triples in a given right triangle if you see them. So if you see two of these, you should be able to identify the third very quickly, kind of like a little multiplication table. And that's on page 398 of your book. All right, so uh, we, talk about the, we talked about the big daddy triangle, right? We said, uh, daddy triple is three, four, five, and the siblings can be six, eight, ten, or one and a half, two, two and a half, or three root five, four root five, or five root five. So there are a couple different uh, possibilities in terms of expanding uh, or reducing the triangle, uh, but keeping the same triple as a family. So I mentioned to you that we're going to multiply or divide each of the lengths of the triangle by a constant in order to determine a Pythagorean triple or you just multiply by a value that's less than one, uh, but greater than zero, of course. So uh, in this case, we have a 16, 30, 34 triangle, and then we have a similar triangle in four, seven and a half, and we're trying to figure out what the remaining length is. And we can see that the uh, constant here is gonna be multiplied by one fourth. So we have 16 times one fourth is equal to four, 30 times one fourth is equal to seven and a half. And then 34, uh, times one fourth gives us eight and a half. So the question mark here would be eight and a half. So the principle of reduced or expanded triangle is that we're multiplying each of the values here in this right triangle. I should mark this as a right triangle by a constant, uh, whether it's greater than uh, one or less than one, either to reduce or expand the triangle uh, accordingly. So in here, I'm just going to write in that this is uh, 8.5 units. And I have two similar triangles, both that are right triangles. All right, next example. Now I have a one and a half, one and seven tenths. And what is the 
other length for this right triangle. All right, so I want you to think about this for a second, and then I'm going to tell you how to get the answer. So this is a second, we talked about the uh, principle of reduced triangles, we multiply by constant. In this case, where we have fractions, there's another way to get the answer. And that is, uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, convert to a simple fraction and then find a common denominator. Once you find the common denominator, then we're going to focus on the numerator and solve the triple from there. So in this case, what we did was we rewrote as a simple fraction, 15 over 10, 17 over 10, and 8 over 10, the common denominator for each, which we're trying to find is 10. And I can see I have an 8, 15, actually in this case, 15, 17, and then the remaining side would be 8 over 10, uh, which would be 4 over 5 if you were to reduce it in its simplest form. So I have a 1 and a half, 1 and 7 tenths, and a 4 fifths side. So again, uh, in this case where you have, you're dealing with a fraction, what you want to do is uh, simplify to a simple fraction, find a common denominator, and then work on the uh, Pythagorean triple from there. All right, so I believe that this is almost it. I have one more problem for you. Okay, so I have 77, 275, and another question mark. And like we did with the first uh, triangle, what we want to do is we want to find a common factor in each of these values. So I'll let you think about what the common factor is going to be. And it ends up being that the common factor between 77 and 275 is 11. So when we reduce the common factor or common factors, uh, we find that we have a 7, 25, and then 25 for the hypotenuse, and then 24 for one of the legs. So I end up having a 7, 24, 25 triangle. So in this case, uh, what we want to do when the value is in a uh, number, we just want to find the factors of each of the given values uh, and then reduce the given uh, values for each of the lengths by the common factors until the triple becomes apparent. All right, so let's move on to a couple problems. First one, the lengths of the legs of a right triangle are x and 3x three plus, three plus y. The length of the hypotenuse is 4x minus y. Find the ratio of x to y. Well, we know that x squared plus 3x plus y squared is equal to 4x minus y squared. So we set up this value, x squared plus, using the Pythagorean theorem, 3x plus y squared is equal to 4x minus y squared. And that leaves me with x squared plus 9x squared plus 6xy plus y squared is equal to 16x squared uh, minus 8xy plus y squared. And that can be reduced to 14xy is equal to x squared. Uh, we see that we have a common factor in x, so we eliminate or reduce these singular x value to 1, and we're left with 14y is equal to 6x. Now, I tell my students the common mistake is to say that the rela uh, ratio of uh, x to y is going to be 6 to 14, but in fact, that's not the case. We want to set up our ratios and our proportion in order to solve uh, for x to y. It ends up being really 14 to 6 or 7 to 3. So as part of the process of solving, remember uh, to set up your ratios and don't just guess because I have a 14 here and a 6 here that the relationship is going to be 14y to 6x. It's actually the opposite of that. It's going to be 6 to, uh, six to uh, 7, or 6 to 14, excuse me, or reduce 3 to 7 uh, in terms of y to x and then 7 to 3 in terms of x to y. Hopefully that made sense. All right, moving on to the next problem. I have six slips of paper, each containing a different one of the numbers 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 10. They're placed in a hat, then two of the slips are drawn at random. What is the probability that the numbers are drawn are two lengths in the 3, 4, 5 family? Uh, and B, that the numbers drawn are legs, are a leg and a hypotenuse of the family. So we go through the list, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all the possibilities. I have 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 8, 3, 10, and so on and so forth until I list all of the different possibilities. And then I'm going to identify uh, for A, <clears throat> what is the probability that any of the numbers drawn are two lengths in the 3, 4, 5, uh, three, four, five family? So it would be any side, really, hypotenuse of the leg. And I see that 3, 4 can be a length. Uh, 3, 5 can be, a, or actually a pair. 3, 5 can be a pair. 4, 5 can be a pair. 6, 8 can be a pair because it is a member of the 3, 4, fa 5 family. It's 
uh, each of these values is multiplied by constant 2, so I end up with 6 and 8. 6 and 10, and then 8 and 10. So I have uh, 3 and 5, 3 and 4, and 4 and 5. Uh, each again multiplied by 2. So I have 6 out of the 15 can be represented uh, by any side or two lengths in the 3, 4, 5 triangle. And then finally, uh, a leg and a hypotenuse. Well, I have the 5 has to be the hypotenuse in the 3, 4, 5. So 3 and 5, 4 and 5, and then 3 and 5 here because both are multiplied by a constant of 2. And th that would be represented by 6 and 10. And then 4 and 5 multiplied by 2, I have 8 and 10. So 4 out of the 15 would be represented by uh, a leg and a hypotenuse. So the odds are 6 out of 15 that if you select two numbers at random, that they would be uh, any side, a, a leg and a hypotenuse, or two legs, and a right triangle, and four out of 15, uh, that they would be a, a leg and a hypotenuse. Now, of course, we can reduce this value by a common factor of three, so this really should be uh, two over five. All right, that's it for Otten Math. Come back and join us. Uh, when we talk about 30, 60, 90 triangles and 45, 45, 90 triangles in the next, next edition.